Houston, we have a problem. Um, first of all, I was just videoing and then looked and it was no longer videoing. Um, this ABS wheel speed sensor, well, <clears throat> let's just say I'm going to say something that I never thought I'd hear myself say or ever hear anybody actually say. It's too long and it's too girthy. <coughs> Compared to this little stock tiny one, hmm, it fits just right. This is too big in both directions. <coughs> Here is the said bolt that holds that one in. The bolt won't even go through the hole. My bolt is too big for this tight little brass opening. But yet, the wheel speed sensor, ABS sensor, is too long and too girthy and completely different style. So therefore, this is not the right one. So we will hold on to this because Parts Geek doesn't do returns, I don't believe, from what I read. And I wouldn't bother wasting my time with it for what this costs. A couple bucks, no big deal. I will hold on to this. This will get thrown in the back of the van in the garage. And maybe someday I will find someone with a E250 2007 uh, or an August 6th 2007 manufacturing date or older. And I do believe this might work for them. But, so, now the only reason I was even going to replace this is because I didn't feel like splicing and repairing the wire. Because when I replaced, when I spliced and fixed the original issue that I found that was there prior to me buying the van. And a quick half-assed fix that someone else did. I wanted to fix it right. So to fix it right, I added wire. Well, the extra length of wire made this sit up here and I had it tucked so that I thought it would stay out of the way. I should have actually spun this holder back here like I did then after it rubbed through. And I should have done it then, but before, and I didn't. So because this was here, it was rubbing the back of the tire. So now I'm going to cut this, splice this back together, shorten up the wire a little bit so it will not rub the tire. And hopefully, if it works as well as my last splice did, the ABS light will go off and I will be fine until I get a new sensor. Because apparently, AutoZone.com, under my cart, I went in, put in ABS wheel speed sensor, popped up. The store I had set as my store at the moment said it wasn't there they didn't have it but three nearby stores did clicked on that and the whole thing just kind of acted all messed up didn't want to work so i backed out started over and now none of the none of like i tried six different stores within a certain area my my county and part of lancaster county nobody shows that they have it in stock but it never doesn't come up and tell me that three nearby stores have it either. So apparently that must have been a glitch and the system realized they don't have it. But I can have it shipped to my home. I can have it shipped because it'll come from the hub. Well, if I can get it shipped from the hub to my home delivery for free, why can't I just have it sent to the damn store? Because the store should be able to get it next day. Where home delivery is a couple, like a week out. If it's at the hub, then it were hell. Shit, I'll drive to the I'll drive to Allentown to the damn hub and get it from the hub myself. You know, it don't matter. Cause that I could do tomorrow if I want. I could do that on Sunday. They're open. I can order it. I could drive there and pick it up. But so of course, in standard fashion for myself. When something can go wrong, it does. Every once in a while, things go right. 
in this case, since last weekend, between the plugs, ignition coils, injectors, little issue there with probably the ignition coil, I'm guessing. But, of course, something had to go awry and not just work as intended. So I fixed that. Hopefully that fix is permanent now and it continues to work and run well. Um, but now then one more thing I'm trying to fix and I got the wrong part. Partly my fault, probably, because I didn't know what this one looked like. I would have known by the picture that that wasn't the one. But now that this is out and I see this, I'm going to look again on Parts Geek. Maybe they have the right one. I think they do, but it comes with that crescent moon shaped bracket but i don't need that but we'll see what happens so but i'm not really worried about it i'm just gonna fix this wire and we'll go from there because the next big priority on this thing is upper lower ball joints tie rod ends all this all that stuff um i do believe um, this has just got the big I-beam. This does only have the I-beams. I don't have... Seriously? I don't have the wishbone thingy? I do not have the wishbone thingy. Um, come on. Let me... <laughs> Let me have the light. Come on. Come on. Let me have it. There we go. Okay, no. I don't have the wishbone. <coughs> I got the I-beam, the radius arm. Okay, so really, in reality, all I need... So the next big thing to have... But I'm going to have somebody else do it that has all the right tools, air tools... Because a lot of this stuff, there is concrete on the end of the nut on the bolts from when this was a work van. Some Riri drove through wet concrete or into a pile of it. And there's concrete that I got to chip off before I take this anywhere because I'm not going to. I would feel like a total ass driving this to a shop and then expect them to bust off the concrete. To take stuff apart to fix it. To replace other parts that I want them to work on. So I'm going to have to actually do that myself. But upper lower ball joints are going to get done on this thing. Tie rod ends. Because, well, let's just say. Who knows. I mean, I greased everything and now it's full. So maybe, maybe everything would be good, but at the same time, why not just replace it with all new? Because then I know that it's good for the, to go for the long haul. Because um, I'm going to guess that a lot of these components are probably, if, if they were ever replaced, it was only done once since 2008. Because a lot of times the factory stuff doesn't come with grease fittings. Once you replace the factory stuff, you have grease fittings. And these have grease fittings. So I'm going to kind of guess that these parts were probably replaced at one time. Once before, since before I bought it. But it's been a long time since they were done. They were neglected. They weren't greased. Um... I am a little upset that I took this thing to a drive through oil place. And I told them, give me an oil change and lube. You said, you guys do lube with this, right? They're like, yeah. Okay, cool. Good. Well, I found when going through my box of stuff in the van last weekend, I found paperwork from one of my oil changes. And they put on there that they didn't do a, gre a lube. Grease lube job because they claimed that they were unserviceable, meaning no grease fittings. No, they were just covered with that much dirt 
and old Greece from eons ago when they were Greece the last time. The Greece was had that much dirt that it just looked like there was no grease fitting there. I cleaned off all the all that dirt and grease, and guess what? There's grease fittings. So the guys at Havilene and Hershey just didn't feel like taking the time to clean the grease and dirt off to get to to access the grease fittings. Well, most of these joints were empty. There was no grease. It took a lot of grease to fill these boots back up to where they're supposed to be, you know? So they... And then you wait till a little bit of grease oozes out, and that's when you know they're full, they're good. Something I've known my entire life. But yet, because they were so dry, bone dry, and lacking grease for so long... I'm thinking they're they're most likely they're wore out because my my tires are my tires are wearing on the inside because the camber toe in or camber's off one of the whatever that is um, so because of that that will be the next thing to do is get the upper lower ball joints tie rod ends all that stuff. Maybe even the sway bar. You know, who knows? Because I can buy that stuff on a kit from Parts Geek. Or I can just go price. I'm going to price it all out through Ant, through AutoZone and whatnot. <coughs> Rear leaf springs are going to get done. Shocks all the way around. But a lot of that stuff, I think I'm going to leave that to... I'm going to find a garage with a lift that wants to do it all. And just see what they charge me labor-wise. Um, because some of this stuff I just don't feel like dealing with. I really don't. Because I don't have, like here, there's an air compressor. But my, there's no air tools that I know of. So without having an air ratchet or, you know... Like, I would have, well, for example, I have the right socket. Here's the one. That's the right size for the bolts that hold the caliper bracket onto the front end here. Problem is, I put it on this. This won't fit back there to zip them off. But yet... I tried using half inch ratchet with pipe leverage extension. It wouldn't budge. I tried using breaker bar laying on the ground, all my weight hanging on this. They weren't budging. And I even sprayed them with PB blaster hours ago, not budging with a breaker bar. So, Guess what I'm not doing? Any of that stuff because <laughs> that needs air tools, air ratchet that can get on there. And, you know, I'm going to spray it some. I'll probably spray it some more so that way by the time I get to a garage to get this stuff done, they'll be able to zip it all right off. No problem. But this thing's been neglected a lot of years and everything's just rusted. So... Yeah, but it's okay. You know what? I'm going to laugh at this <laughs> because I'm not upset. I'm not mad at Parts Geek. You know, it's not their fault. The thing says it's supposed to fit a 2008 E250. Well, it, it does. It probably fits and it fits an E250. I don't know what 2008 model they're talking about because... I got a completely different wheel speed ABS sensor than what my 2008's got a different one than whatever 2008 they're talking about. Maybe there's, ooh, you know what it is? It's one of them space paradigm things. Yeah, it's like, ooh, it's like Spider-Man. How many different Spider-Mans were there? In different Spider-Man, Spidey worlds, right? Well, in this one, that Peter Parker, 
you know, different Peter Parkers. Oh, that's what this is. In one Peter Parker world, this is the speed ABS sensor in that 2008 Peter Parker world. And in the other 2008 Peter Parker world, this is the speed sensor ABS sensor that's in it. Oh, at least I figured it out. See, there we go. So, whatever. Oh, <laughs> uh, goodness gracious. So I'm just going to put this back together. I'm going to splice that. I'm going to fix that wire. So that way I get rid of the ABS light. And I think in the morning I'm going to have to run to AutoZone though. Because I forgot to get. I knew I forgot something. I got to get rear end gear lube oil for this. And gasket maker. Because I realized the other weekend when I did the transmission filter and the case fluid, if I was the first person to drop this transmission pan since this thing was brand new, that means the rear diff cover's never been taken off either, probably. Which means that rear end gear oil seriously needs to be replaced. And that's all part of preventative maintenance, right? Well, see, most people don't think about this stuff, but... That's what makes your vehicle last longer. You got to take care of the drive line. But out of sight, out of mind, it slips people's minds. So we will continue this mechanical working weekend since one part seemed to go smoother and quicker than I anticipated. And even though this isn't going as I hoped, I will still have time tomorrow to go get more parts for other things that I forgot that I've, I knew I was forgetting something Friday morning. I knew there was, I'm like, I know there's something else I need to go do before I go to work. And I had a brain fart, complete brain fart. Couldn't think of it. So lo and behold, now I realize, I remember, hey, you know what I wanted to go get? <laughs> yeah. So now I got to go get those parts in the morning. But that's okay, because that'll give me a chance to test drive this thing, run it, get the shift points set, because I had to reset the EC, I had to I reset by disconnecting the bat battery while I was doing all the other spark plugs and whatnot. So it had its run from cold to full engine hot temp, normal running temp. Did the loads with the AC and the defrost and all that. But now I need to do the drive to get the shift points and all that stuff. Um, but, which I might even have to redo what I've done so far with the running part. Because when I splice these wires, if the ABS light don't go out on its own, I'm going to have to disconnect the battery to reset, reset the computer to get rid of the ABS light. Um, yeah. So, that's where we're at. Time to put this back together and fix that wire. So, I will catch you all later on the YouTube land, huh? Bearded Nomad Van Life signing out for now. Remember, fight for love, not hate. Damn clicker's not working. It went to sleep. <laughs> okay. Yep. So, be kind to others. Be kind to yourself. Fly, get out of here. <sighs> Except for flies. Bugs, certain bugs, don't be kind to bugs. Bugs are a pain. But, um, yeah, so, till next time, or till later, with the next project, stay weird, my friends, stay weird. <laughs>